Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are back in Star Citizen. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, we are back in the 3.18 PTU patch, um, and after completing uh, one of the basic um, introduction missions earlier today, um, I've gotten this Repel Raid on Orison mission, uh, which you can get from the General tab under Mercenary. Um, and this allows you to essentially do a mission from the Siege of Orison, um, except for that instead of clearing all of the platforms, you're just clearing like one location. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get over to the location here. Um, I've gone ahead and loaded up with uh, my weapons and ammunition and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if we can get this completed. Um, so for those of you just new to the channel or joining us uh, for the 318 content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button um, and help the channel to grow. And uh, yeah, stick around for some more gaming content. Now we are going to be doing uh, a Zero to Hero series um, as soon as 3.18 actually drops and goes live. Um, oops, not, not Port OSR. Horizon, there we go. Um, and so we're, uh, we're going to be gearing up for that as soon as as soon as 3.18 actually goes to the live environment. Um, however, for right now, I'm, I'm just kind of testing out some of the missions, um, checking to see, you know, how things are going to work, um, what are some of the most uh, efficient ways of making some money and, and uh, leveling up your rep, um, and basically just uh, having a good time, or trying to at least, uh, testing out 318 PTU. It has been a little bit buggy, to say the least. Um, we've had several patches where we were having 30k server crashes every 10 to 15 minutes. Some of them were a half hour kind of thing. Um, but it appears that those are starting to smooth out a little bit, and we're actually getting some decent gameplay. Um, I guess the, the biggest problem that we've had as far as getting any sort of long-term testing done is just the fact that with all of these patches generally all of them come with a wipe and so instead of being able to build up a little bit of in-game credits and and uh, you know purchase some in-game ships and try some things out uh, we're limited to the things that are on your account and for me that is the Anvil, or sorry, the uh, the Aegis Avenger Titan, the Anvil Arrow, and the Misk Prospector. So um, I'm a little bit limited in the uh, in the ships that I have available to me, and the testing that I can do because of that, because we're uh, because we're somewhat limited. ships and stuff that we can use, and, and we've only gotten uh, like a million, oh goodness, uh, a million Alpha UEC um, to you know, effectively use. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fly over to here. My speed to max here, unfortunately I've dropped into the atmosphere here, and that's slowing me down significantly. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and then as soon as we actually get to the location, I will go ahead and resume then. Okay, so we are finally coming up on the platform, and my goodness, Orison takes a long time to fly through the atmosphere. Um, even with the Titan, which is not a slow ship by any means, um, this took a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
find a good landing zone here. Unfortunately, my frame rate is absolutely terrible right now as well. Um, but these are the new uh, platform missions. We need to clear one of these buildings. Now, I not taking any fire from the turrets, which is good. But I want to see if there's a landing zone or something up here that I can get down on. Um, I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down here. Oh, definitely people down there, though. Yeah, definitely, definitely people there. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll land at one of the other landing zones because it appears that that's where I'm going to need to take out the baddies. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll land over here. At this landing zone and hopefully I can get some halfway decent frame rate. This is really not going to do very well at all if I'm only getting 12 to 15 frames per second. Landing complete. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll turn off uh, the engines. engines. We'll put full power to shields. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll get out of here. Exit through the back, just so that I can have one of my weapons out when I go out of here. 18, 19, it might just be playable. Right, I don't see anyone there, so I think we're good as far as that goes. I see anyone walking around over here so hopefully it's just that building that's infested with them we can clear that out without too much difficulty now the server frame rate has actually been halfway decent recently so the AI are actually kind of dangerous now. Um, definitely not something to just rush in unawares. Um, I guess the biggest issue that I had earlier with trying to complete one of these was just the fact that, um, that the spawn closets were a bit bugged. And so, oh goodness. Um, so I ended up getting killed with four by four AI um, that had just spawned in the spawn closet and uh, popped out and managed to, to take me out. Unfortunately, yeah, we are really, really having some some really bad frame rate currently. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this here and see what I can do to fix that quickly. Okay, so we're gonna try that and just see if I can get some halfway decent frames. Um, I've switched up the, the recording settings on my recording software. Hopefully I'll actually be able to get some, some playable frames out of this. 20, 20 to 21 is still not super good. But we'll 
we'll give it a shot. Hopefully things will improve a little bit. So we've got to take out got to take out the enemies in this building over here. And we've got um, we've got this contract and if we can get it completed um, it should give us 20,000 Alpha UEC, which is a decent amount. Especially for starting off. swap over and, and carry this with me because that uh, the FS9 while pretty powerful is also very slow all right they are all down call the elevator here hopefully it doesn't come down loaded up with baddies this a try. Go up to the roof, because I know we've got at least a couple of guys up there. Try the run and gun approach here, because there we go. One guy down there. Oops. Got him. Seven of fifteen. Hopefully that's cleared the rooftop here. Six of fifteen. Whoop. Some fire still, four of fifteen left.
don't see any more of them walking around. And this appears to be clear up here. So... Oh, goodness. Whew, that was close. All right. Three left. Have a quick look. No, he does not. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and head up here to hopefully a little safer area. At least one where there's only one entrance and exit. It's kind of close actually. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and self-medicate here a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll put a couple magazines on here. This is the SC-54. Perfect. All right. Three guys left. No entrances here. So I'm going to go ahead and head back up. And check, because I'll bet the rest of them are down in the middle floor. see them anywhere over here. Oof. I've got myself a tier 3 head injury. So those are always fun. down to the upper floor here. Oof, I really don't like the entrance there. That's uh Oh goodness gracious. One guy left. Where he's at is anyone's guess. Go ahead and take that. And both of those. Okay, both of them as well. 
Got him. Goodness, that was very close, actually. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll store this. Um, and I'm going to pick up. We'll grab that. Okay. Oh, that's not working. Alright, so we've got 14 minutes to leave the area. I'm going to go ahead and we'll head back down to the ground floor here. And I'll leave this out just in case, because with the way they're running around and spawning and all that, it never hurts to have a little bit of extra firepower. Go ahead and head back out to our Titan. You have 13 minutes and change, so we'll have plenty of time. Whew. Definitely something that. Uh, you may want to consider bringing some, bringing some buddies along, because while it's definitely doable as a as a single player, it's it's a lot more risky. Because you got you know you go down, and uh, there's no one to help you. All right, what all do we have in here? We've got uh, oh, we've got some food. I'm going to go ahead and we'll take some drinks here. And some dehydrated food packs and all that. There we go. Some food. Not sure what these are worth. Spore pod. Uh, can't be consumed directly. Yeah, really not anything there. I think that's revenant pods. Oh, Artrusi toxin. <laughs> okay, so those are probably highly illegal then. We don't want to be flying around with those. Alright, so we'll go ahead and head up to the roof. Probably shouldn't be flying with a tier 3 head injury, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's Star Citizen after all. We do dangerous things every day here. seeing any like loot boxes or anything in the area that I could rummage before I go so we'll just go ahead and jump into the Titan here got the uh, got the building cleared and escape with our lives <laughs> Kind of does feel like that, actually, because um, turn the volume down here a little bit. Definitely want to uh, to exit the atmosphere as quickly as we can. Because goodness gracious, it's a bit of a drag. both on frame rate and on um, actual PC performance. My recording software is um, really struggling a bit too. 
<laughs> so I'm not sure whether we've got some sort of like memory leak or something going on, or if it's just Horizon or what exactly, but uh, my computer's not liking it, is it? It's, it's not a slouch either, so um, hopefully the performance will improve significantly. As soon as we get out of here. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Goodness. Turn off our cruise control there. There we go. Alright, and then we can go ahead and head back to Yella. Which, let's see who that's selling. Whoa, somebody's targeting us. worth it, I guess. Don't have anything over there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll jump to selling, or, you know, some of the way there at least, and uh, get ourselves clear of Orison and uh, Crusader. And then we'll go ahead and jump back to Yella for a quick trip home. Let's go ahead and we'll clear our route. I'm starting to think too that this armor is not the best uh, for doing these sorts of missions. So I had several injuries crop up rather quickly there. Definitely getting some some very bad performance tonight. I think it is. I think it is game related, not uh, not really a PC thing. But before we do that, let's you know, it's too far away. All right. Head back to Groom Hex. It's always interesting when you see those little white pips show up, because um, it generally means that there's a, an unmanned ship out there somewhere. It's always fun to pop in and see what they've got available, because um, most of the ships that you see now in the verse, especially if they're unmanned, you can break into. Try and take him out for a spin. TC here, and we'll get our uh, get our clearance. Speed limiter, probably. Oh goodness! Okay. Speed limiter properly set up so that we're not zooming around at super high speeds. server frame rate, or not server frame rate, but mice frame rate is absolutely terrible right now. In like nine, nine frames per second, ten? Oh goodness. Well, 
Alrighty, well, that'll be it for today's video. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Ta-ta.